Everyone thinks Stonehenge was just a calendar. But what if it was built for the dead? Archaeologists discovered that most of the people buried near Stonehenge came from hundreds of miles away. Not locals, travellers, which means people didn't live here. They came here. Some stones were hauled from Wales over 150 miles without wheels. 4,500 years ago. Why carry four-ton rocks that far? And here's the wild part. Ancient grave studies show early cremations long before Stonehenge was fully built, suggesting this wasn't a monument to time. It was a ceremonial gateway for the afterlife. Nearby wooden circles, now rotted away, may have been used for the living, while Stonehenge itself, made of eternal stone, symbolized the world of the dead. Processions likely marched from wooden temples down to the river, then back up to Stonehenge to honor ancestors, a massive ritual of death, memory and rebirth. So Stonehenge isn't really a clock, it's a bridge between the living and the dead, and the echoes of those ancient ceremonies may still be happening every time the sun rises through its stones. Stonehenge wasn't built to measure time, it was built to conquer it.